Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this little whale. I already have this pattern on my blog and my YouTube channel but today I decided to make a new version. I changed the side the tail fin a little bit and I made it with eyebrows and now I'm gonna show you how to make the eyelashes. So make sure to watch the whole video because I'm also showing my Amigurumi tips and tricks and also how to sew on the part. So uh, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more content from me. My name is Rangnil. Also, I have a blog with lots of free crochet patterns. So go ahead and make sure to check that out. Here is my blog. You can go and check it out. I have lots of free and easy crochet patterns for beginners and also link to my video tutorials so you can go and have a look at that also you can subscribe here to my email and you get can you can get the free pattern for the whale that we are about to make however note the the tail fin is a little different there so uh, keep on watching and we're gonna go ahead and make this little cute whale this is a beginner friendly pattern but you need to know the basics i have a video tutorial for amigurumis for beginners and how to uh, to do increases and how to do single crochets and uh, magic ring and also how to to get around the magic ring so be sure to watch that if you are a complete newbie if you don't have so much experience but you have crocheted a little bit before you should be able to make this whale so have lots of fun crocheting so i'm gonna start with the magic ring there is also a video on how to do the magic ring you can chain four or you can just do like this twice around your index finger and one time or one and a half time around your thumb like so like there and there and then we go here and grab the yarn here just pull it up here like so and now chain one is just go there and one more time this is just to secure this ring so in this ring we're gonna do six single crochets so here's how to do a single crochet just go here grab the yarn and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two loops and here one again once again two three four five and six so now we just go ahead and pull this closed like so and now we need a stitch marker so i get my stitch marker i just use a strand of yarn and somebody commented on instagram that they also do this and it's uh it's very practical you always have a strand of yarn and it doesn't fall off so easily and it's no fuss Okay, so now you go ahead and count your stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And here is the first stitch. You just go in there. And then we're gonna do two single crochets there. So here, one, and here, two. So don't worry, it's only gonna be a couple of rounds here at white. So try and stay with me. So one, and two two and do this in each stitch until you have 12 single crochets so two four six and here we get eight eight nine and ten and eleven and twelve and now we just grab this one here you see the little hole there we're just going to pull here and then I like to weave in the ends here, like here. Okay, so now we're gonna increase in every second stitch. So here is the first one. Do one single crochet there and here. Here is the next one, do two single crochets there. Like two and three and repeat all the way around here one and increase in the next. We're just gonna repeat this all the way around until we have 18 single crochets. And now this is the last round with white. So we're just gonna do two single crochets. So one single crochet in the next two stitches. So here, one and two and now increase in the third one so do 
two single crochet single crochets there repeat all the way around until you have 24 single crochets and now when you're here at the last stitch just do one single crochet and then the next one but just pull up here the loop and leave it on your hook and then you grab the, the new color you want a nice color change so I'm inserting the hook in the same stitch as um, and to do a single crochet and then I just pull up the loop here I just finish the last pull through with a new color so here like so and now you have here those two strands we can cut off the white one now and now we are just going to put here the tails here below so now we're just going to do one single crochet in each stitch for four rounds so here i just go through here one single crochet in each stitch and i try to just crochet over that tail here so i don't have to weave it in afterwards so here Now here I'm at the end, so I'm just going to continue, I'm going to put a new stitch marker here, just put it here before your stitch, you have a white one, and now I just continue. So this is continuous rounds, there's also joining rounds, let me show you real quick, quick. then you just, but you have to do this the whole pattern, you just slip stitch in the first stitch and then you chain one and then you go into the next stitch and do your single crochets. So now I'm just going to do total four rounds. So I have done two, no, one, and I'm going to do three more. And now you can also, uh, you can cut off this ends here. Like so. And now we can just continue. And I will meet you when I have done my rounds. So I have done four rounds, but I'm going to do one more. So actually I'm going to do five because I think I want it a bit little bit different this time but you can also go ahead and leave it with four okay so now we're gonna do some decreases so pull up your stitch marker and then because we went to 24 single crochets you need to do two single crochets and one decrease if you are for example going to 30 uh, single crochets you're going to do three single crochets and one decrease so 36 single crochets you're going to do four single crochets and one decrease so if you want to make, make a bigger wheel you can just expand expand it and um, and do your decreases like that okay but this is two one and two and now just go in here to the front loop only to the next two stitches now you can also go like this and pull up a loop and this next and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through all loops but then you will get a little like you will see the decrease so we want a invisible one so just go into the front loop only in the next two stitches grab the yarn and pull up a loop now you have two loops on the hook yarn over and pull through two loops so this is more in uh, like you can't see it so good so one and two single crochets and then here one decrease like so repeat this all the way around one and two and one decrease one and two and one decrease okay and when you are doing a decrease round and you start with two single crochets and one decrease you are always gonna end up with a decrease so here I have four stitches left and also this is a good way to know if you have done your uh, if you don't have too many or too few stitches 
like so. So if you start with a decrease, you're gonna end with two single crochets. So that's the opposite. Okay, now just pull up here your loop so you have a little room. Now we can find some safety eyes. So, so these are like nine millimeter, I think, or eight millimeter. Just go ahead and grab whatever you, you want. And here, you can see here, you have a little lining here. So this is the back part of your veil. And this is the front part. So what I like to do, I just like to put the eyes here somewhere. Well, I think it, it's cute. And like one, two, three, four, five, like so. This, I like this. So I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and place the stitches. You can also embroider it on some eyebrows or eyelashes if you want. If you want to do eyelashes, you should go ahead and do it now. So I'm just gonna show you how to make some eyelashes. So this is the point where you wanna do it before you just go ahead and attach the eyes and everything. So I, when you do eyebrows, I just like to go here and maybe like one stitch up or one half stitch up like so. And then you just repeat on the other side. If you wanna do lashes, it's better like to have some embroidered yarn, I just use normal yarn because I couldn't find anything. I just go under the eye here, like so, and then you go here. Just make like cute lashes, go in the same place. And then do like so, like here, somewhere, like so. Yeah, so this is how to do eyebrows and eyelashes. If you want to put it on your amigurumi whale, what you want, you don't want to do, you don't want to make it too tight here. You want to make it a little, because then and the, the, the yarn will kind of disappear. So now I'm happy here and then I just go here and make a little knot here, just careful. Like so. And then we can cut the yarn. Now to the back part. So the main thing you wanna, you wanna do when you're putting the back part on, you don't wanna push it too far inside. So just put it against the surface and then push down and you don't want to push too far down because then the eyes will look a little angry so like so you can also make a little mouth here in the middle if you want to I'm just gonna leave mine like this and now I'm then gonna continue and we're gonna do two more decrease rounds so here the next one is one single crochet in the next stitch and one decrease in the next. Repeat this all the way around until you have 12 single crochets. Grab some filling materials and then we're gonna put it here. So a little bit more. You can also use this whale as a keychain or, you know, as a little gift or just uh, give it to a child or something. Okay, so now we have 12 single crochets. So the last round is just decrease in every stitch. So here, one decrease, and then the next one decrease. And repeat this all the way around. And then I'm gonna show you a nice way to finish it with a good method. So now you cut the yarn. You can leave them again. 30 centimeter tail and then you go into the here to the first stitch and do a slip stitch don't mind the, this yarn oops so 
and then you grab your tapestry needle and you go in through the front loop only in every stitch like here is the front loop there's the back loop and just go there so and then you go down again and out somewhere else and now you have a nice finish that looks kind of cute now cut the yarn okay so the pattern says make a slip knot so this is how to do a slip knot just go here and then put put up the loop here like so this is how to do a slip knot and then we're gonna chain four and then one two three and four so here here is the loop where you are, you are this this does not count so here is the first chain second third and fourth so you go into the second chain from the hook and you never count the, the chain where your hook is so here's the you never go in there but here is the first second third and fourth so you go in here this to the second one and then you pull up a loop and or pull through two loops you're gonna do single crochet there and then in the next you're gonna do a half so in the next one you're gonna do a half double crochet just yarn over insert the hook in the next stitch so here is the stitch where you are there you're gonna go into the next one here and then you're gonna pull up a loop you're gonna leave the loop on your hook you're gonna yarn over and pull through three loops and now we want to do a double crochet so here yarn over and insert the hook in the next stitch the last one and then you just go ahead and pull up a loop now we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. So here is the side fin, we want to cut the yarn and leave a little tail for sewing. And I just like to just do a chain here and pull through. So this is the side fin and we're going to do one more. Once you have the two side fins, you're going to do the tail fin, so just do a slip knot. Do a magic ring. And now chain two, one and two. Now do two double crochets. So here just yarn over and just go right there in the ring. Yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Repeat this one more time. And now we're gonna do one treble crochet. So that's also easy just wrap the yarn twice around your hook and then go and pull up a loop now you have four loops on the hook yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through two loops we're gonna do this one more time so wrap the yarn twice around your hook and then go here and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and now you can just close here and then you can cut the yarn so and then just do like so and then you're going to do one more so you have two like this and then you have to like turn the other one around so you have one like this is the right side facing up and this is the wrong side but so it will be like this so now you have two like fins like this for the back and now you're just gonna flip one like so. So this is how you're gonna sew this on on the back side here. So this will be like this. And we're gonna first we're gonna do the side fins. So what you can do, you can grab like pins, and then you can position the here them here on the side like so like where you want them to be maybe a couple of stitches away from the eyes like so let me show on the other one it's a little more strands now so i hope you don't get confused so i just thread it and then i go down here and then up somewhere else just make sure to go down on the same place and then go up again on the next through the next stitch we can remove those 
and then down. And then just do this like four or five times or something until it's secure enough. Also, I can use the other one, the other side. So now he has his side fin and we need the tail fin. So we have like this and you need to turn one side so you actually have the wrong side on, on one part. So here as a like so this is how this you want you want to sew it on this should be here close to each other those peaks there and then we just want to place them here on the sure. <laughs> like so okay but just watch out that those uh, the, the points are, are facing each other and you just go ahead and do, do the same thing as with the side fins just go up and down there and through the stitches here at the bottom like there up somewhere else want to attach the other one real quick so if you have problems with your yarn a little bit like I do and you have these bits sticking out you can just go ahead and try to, to cut them off <laughs> can find my other scissors but this is how my whale turned out you can also go ahead and sew those a little closer together but, but you know like like this so this is how it looks I'm uh, very happy with my version and I hope you are too and uh, I wish you a nice day goodbye